This next section will cover the leak sync software. So let's talk about leaks. They happen for a variety of reasons. And they can be challenges in terms of setting sensitivities as well as having problems with cycling. So the goal of the leak sync software is to try to reduce the amount of auto triggering and reduce the amount of delayed cycling. So leak sync software can work in a variety of settings. It can work from invasive to non-invasive and it can work from neonates to adults in a multitude of modes and settings. Well, let's simulate a leak to see what really is occurring and let's see how well the leak sync software interfaces with those kind of situations. So I'm going to create a leak first. Right now, to demonstrate this, I'm in simple pressure control ventilation. And so I have a simple setting of a cis control pressure based, a rate of 10. Right now I'm getting some alarms basically going off. Now my set rate is 10 and I want to notice at the top that the total rate is beginning to climb because of the auto triggering occurring from the leaks that are occurring from my test lung. And so right now I'm up to 17, I'm up to 19 breaths per minute. I have some alarms going off, which is not uncommon with uh, leaks. So this software basically is accessed through the event setup button. And I'm just going to touch it here. Notice I'm up to 22 breaths per minute. And under more settings, we'll find the leak sync software. Now you may be familiar with our previous software called leak compensation software. It is now called leak sync software and it also has the additional capability of working in volume control ventilation plus as well as volume support. So all you have to simply do now is turn on the leak sync software. So I've got it enabled and I'll hit accept all and I'm going to monitor my screen for what happens with that leak. As soon as that A turns to a C, it captured the leak. And you can see that the machine has stopped auto triggering. So within about two to three breaths, it's, it captures the leak and reduces the amount of auto triggering. Now, once it's captured that leak, I can also look at some displayed values. So as I pull down this screen, I can look and see that I've got the percent leak is 39%. The total leak is 5.8 liters per minute and then the actual uh, leak amount is 184 milliliters. Now as I think about leaks, leaks can change and so I'm going to simulate a change in a leak and this is going to be a pretty significant leak. So I'm going to push this up for a second so you can see how fast the software works. So now I've got a really big leak going on and it captured the leak that quickly. So let's talk about some of the parameters that are displayed during this leak. So now that I've increased the leak, I have a leak of 71%, a total of 22.9 liter per minute leak, as well as per breath 728 milliliters. Now I'm going to go ahead and close up this leak as we move on to another part of this demonstration. And I'm going to go ahead and sweep this guy up. Now I want to talk about how leak sync works to help reduce the amount of delayed cycling. To do that, I'm going to move over to pressure support and then I'll recreate my leak. So I touch vent setup, spontaneous, put in some pressure support. And now I'm going to recreate another leak. And with that leak, we're seeing a number of things happen. We can see that inspiration is lasting very, very long. If I were to actually look at that inspiratory time, it is right now 3.57 seconds. So a fairly long period of time. Now what I'm going to do is simply go into the leak sync software and I'm going to turn that software on under, under more settings. It goes on right there. I'm going to accept all. It's going to take a couple of breaths for it to recognize the leak and once it captures it you'll notice right there the time for the breath is much shorter the machine is no longer auto triggering and the cycling is no longer delayed. Now with this leak I can once again look and see what the actual values are for the leak. So right now my leak percent is 35 percent. Total is 5.8. It's actually a 138 milliliter uh, leak. Now when you have the leak sync software on I want to pay attention to this lower left hand side. Right next to the mode you'll see LS. And that's an indication that whatever mode you're in, that the leak sync software is actually being used. 
Now, one of the things that I want to cover before we finish is really what kind of compensation will the leak sink software do? In the neonatal world, it will compensate up to 15 liters per minute during exhalation. On the pediatric, it will do 40 liters per minute. And finally, on the adult, it will do 65 liters per minute. So with that, please make sure that you look at the operator's manual for any additional information around our leak sync software.